Minecrafter. Uh, I'm doing a little pirate thing here there today. Uh, this is Control Shift Creates here, and I'm going to I'm going to be showing you how to install the Minima mod. I think that's how you say it for Minecraft 1.2.5, and show you some of the basic features and how to use it. Uh, so you need 7-zip and Minima mod, and mod loader I think as well. So this is how you install it. You need to open 7-zip or WinRAR, open it twice, and you need to in one of them. As you can see here, find where your mods are. I've got them already open because my because Seven Zip loves me and it's already opened it for me. And in the other one, you need to do as I'm doing here: find your app data folder. If I go all the way out, it's in your username, app data, probably at the top or the bottom. Go into roaming, go into your dot Minecraft, go into bin, and then here's all this stuff. Go into Minecraft.jar. There's a big fat folder called Meta Inf. Uh, that just gives you a black screen, so you don't want it. So just press delete and then this thing will pop up, you just want to press OK. OK, so that's that done. Come over here and you can see Minima, here's the Minima mod. I'll give you a link to download it in the description. So double click on it and it gives you all these three things here. So in here it's just bin and then there's this times 2x264.exe. That needs to come into your Minecraft bin. So if you go out twice over here, here's bin, just go into that and then there's minecraft.jar, just drag this over to here and then it doesn't give you anything and it just sorry it doesn't give you like uh, do you want to confirm this it just drags it straight over so there it is now go back up and go back up the little green arrow over here goes back up by the way and then there's a config folder go into that and minecraft.cfg so over here you see the config folder just go into there and that's just some mods and stuff that shouldn't be there this will just be blank for you so just drag it into your config folder and there we go now go back up on both of them and then there's one more folder called mods go into that and you'll see a zip folder go into that and you'll see these two things uh, now go back up and this zip folder you just want to drag the whole zip folder into your mods folder over here so this is the mods folder just drag it into there so the whole zip folder and now you can go back up go back up go into your bin Go back into your Minecraft.jar, go back up over here, find mod loader, double click that and just click one and do control A and drag it straight in over here and press yes. So that is Minima installed. Now I'll just open up Minecraft to check if it's working. It will work. And because it if it doesn't, this video won't be uploaded. And here it is, okay, working. So I'll just create a new world. Let's call it Minima. Minim. I spelled that wrong. I think that's how you spell it, I'm not sure. I'll put it on creative just for example purposes, of course. There we go, building terrain. Generating level, saving chunks. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. There we go. My black screen. Okay, here we go. I'm lagging a bit, as I usually do. So now, if I press F4, if I do, I'm going to press F4 now. This thing's come up and it says uh, video capture active name 2012 5 3 and then it says frame and then it says 24 and it's just counting up that's how many frames it's recorded so far and next to it it says 2.01 oh, it keeps changing basically that's your frames per section per, per second so if I move around my frames per second will probably start going down because I'm moving so basically mine must slows the game down however much it needs to uh, to make sure that your video that it's recording at the moment is completely lag free so if I press F4 again it'll stop recording and I'll say sound recording started uh, but I don't really know what that is because why would that start after your video so just ignore that okay so mine has now recorded your video for you so if you save and quit and I'll close down my Minecraft. If you hit on the keyboard the Windows key and then R, it will open and run. Just type in percentage app data percentage and press OK. And then go to dot Minecraft. And then there's a new folder here called Movies. You can go into that and then there's a date. This is just the recording that it just made. And then it says Capture Encoder Sounds. You can ignore all of them except the one at the top which says MPEG4 Movie. Double click on it. And then my player should open up. Quick time, I think I have. 
always quite slow. Here we go. And now if I just full screen this, I can play my video that it's just recorded. Of course the video is a lot shorter because it slowed down um, the game. So I might have been trying to move around there for like a minute, but it only recorded for five seconds. So it records in real time, just it slows it down slows it down whilst you're recording it. So once it's finished recording, it speeds um, the video up. It's really, really good for just recording things like um, explosions, the Nova Bomb, you've probably seen Blue Exos's video. And I'm going to say that that's the end of the Minima installation tutorial and how to use it, I guess. So this is Control Shift Create and I'm going to sign out.